you've mentioned prayer several times and how much of a, um, a bedrock that is in, in your life. How do you pray? What are your daily pr prayer routines? What does that look like? I have dedicated time of prayer. Um, so whether that's in the morning or night, I try to take at least a half an hour just to read scripture and to have those, you know, that quiet time with the Lord. I often go to adoration. I think going to holy hour, sitting in front of the Eucharist and just being in the presence of Jesus like that, you will have so much clarity, life-changing um, uh, revelations that you will have during that time in front of the Eucharist are just amazing. But I also think that we should be in a constant state of prayer. You know, that doesn't mean that we're, um, you know, walking around praying the rosary all day necessarily, but being in constant communication with the Lord. God, how, how can I seek you in this moment? What are you showing me in this moment? Or how can I be used of you to witness to someone here? Or um, even with small decisions, seeking the Lord for uh, clarity and for direction. So you've developed this, this habit of prayer, this discipline of prayer. What about on days when you don't feel like it? On the days where you just, you're distracted or you can't get into it or you just don't feel like it. What's the conversation you have with yourself on those days? Um, honestly, I, I pray and I, I ask God for the grace and I'll say, Lord, help me. Help me um, have the grace to, to seek you, to spend time with you. Give me the grace. I feel like I'm praying, give me the grace often because we can't do anything without God's grace to be truthful. And so many of us struggle with so many things. I mean, it sounds easy to say, oh, I set time apart to pray and I'm constantly seeking the Lord, but it's easy to be distracted. Mm. It's easy to, um, to feel like we're so busy that we don't have time uh, to spend with the Lord. But I think someone, I don't remember who said this, but somebody in a talk that I went to a couple of years back said, it's important to make an appointment with God and keep it. And if we can even make a five minute appointment with God every day, on the, even on the days where it's the most difficult, we'll be amazed about how transformative that is.